Let's do this. No makeup makeup. I promise. I'm gonna try my best to not go feral. I'm gonna try everything. I've hid the glitter. I've I hid the liquid liner. I to, we're gonna keep it simple. But I wanna try this again. And this is still in the realm of no makeup makeup. I remember I tried this and I absolutely loved it. And then it was placed in a drawer and I didn't know where it went. And I think it's gonna be perfect for today. So while we are going to use this, the number one thing I can recommend, and I'm actually gonna film um, more about how to use powder foundation. I'm gonna film that as soon as I'm done here, I'll wipe this off. But the number one thing that is gonna speed up your no makeup makeup quick in a rush routine is powder foundation. Powder foundation, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, if you don't have one, I don't care if you are dry because I'm balanced to dry and I used to be like, I'm gonna look crudustled. Listen, you're not, not with the right skin prep, I promise. And we're gonna talk a little bit about skin prep really quickly though, and you, it's gonna be Elemis, and this isn't an ad. What I will film and post tomorrow will be an ad, but this isn't an ad. If it was, I promise it would say ad. I have nothing to hide from you. But let's get started. So what I'm doing is I'm going to use this, and it's pretty hydrating, but it's not gonna be hydrating enough. Um, if actually, in fact, it actually kind of dries down. So I have one drop of my Elemis oil, but I'm only applying this to the outer perimeter of my face. And if you're oily, this one dries down. I promise it's just, you're not gonna be an oil slick, but avoid the center. Even I'm gonna avoid the center of my face. And then with whatever's left, I'm just gonna lightly go over my lids, just a whisper, just a whisper. And then a little under here. That one drop I did on here is enough for what I'm doing here. And by the way, this is going on top, um, just like our primer. I know that when I do skin prep like this, it gets very confusing, but just think of this as primer because I know primers aren't as confusing. And the moisturizer I have on is the Morning Matrix, but it ran away. I have one up here and then I have one downstairs and it has ran away but I'll give the link for the Morning Matrix. It's my favorite moisturizer. It's what I have on, and that's what's under the oil. And I always like to give heads up, because Elemis, I promise this isn't an ad. I just talk about it so much that y'all do realize that it's a spicy price, but I'm here to just say that there usually have been some kind of deal. I'm pretty sure I just saw that if you enter your phone number or email, you get 30% off. That pop-up just happened. So go check it out. By the way, it was right in front of me. This is the Morning Matrix. It was right in front of me. Look how much I use. I'm out of control. Love it. Now that we're nice and prepped, we are gonna go in with some powder foundation. I'm just gonna grab it on an E28. And the reason I love powder foundation is look how quickly we can just cover up and blur the veins. And we just have a nice even base and we're just good to go in a rush. Look how nice and blurred. So easy. This is why I wash my brushes every day. Do you see what happened? This brush I grabbed, it's a sparkle town. Do you see this? Sparkles just find me. I hide the sparkles and I try to not do sparkles, but now we have sparkles. This doesn't have sparkles. This was all my fault. So this is the powder foundation. This is the Makeup Forever one. I forgot to mention it because I was laughing so hard at the sparkles creeping into my life no matter what I do. And I think this formula is fantastic. Look how quickly this covered that up. And then we can just kind of go in these harder to reach areas, kind of start that. We're still gonna use the rose ink stuff, which I will label that and let y'all know what that is. But this is an E28 and then we're using that Makeup Forever powder foundation. Now this is optional, but say you want to add a little definition around your lash line, which I mean, eh. I'm just going to grab a dark brown, any dark brown, and I'm just going to push that onto the lash line. E27, super easy to do this. Good enough. You can just do this as you please. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, but I do want to give you options. This adds a little bit of definition and it's gonna help the mascara stand out a little bit more. Anytime that you can add any kind of depth to the lash line, it's gonna make the mascara look a little bit more full and your lashes look fuller too. Let's curl these lashes. This is my favorite lash curler. I've tried them all. 
This one never pinches and it's just wonderful. I'm gonna hold it there. I hold for, let's say 12 seconds. And then after that 12 seconds, I'm not counting right now. Normally I'll count it out in my head. <laughs> and then I'll just go up, up, up. But I hold it each time. I hold it about seven seconds each time. This mascara from By Terry is still my absolute jam. It's wonderful. This and then the MAC Dry Lash Dry Shampoo, magical. But I only use the Lash Shampoo later. Dry Shampoo, I don't know. This is my first day doing a tutorial. This is what I'm talking about right here. But I don't use it right now. But this and then that later, heaven. Mascara heaven. Look how pretty and fluffy that is. I love this mascara. Still my favorite. If you don't have a lash comb, I've talked about this so many times, but you're gonna get the fluffiest, most lifted lashes. They can be a little sketchy, so I do recommend shutting your eye while you comb through. Just shut both of them. Jean is snorting up storm over there. But please get a lash comb. I love this one, but this one from Japanesque, or anything shaped like this is gonna be safer, but I'm in the danger zone, so this one from Tweezerman. You know, I just, I love it. And then I just, what I'll do is I'll just clean it with some alcohol each time. We definitely wanna keep it clean. I'm dirty right now because I just used it, but just, just clean it with some alcohol, you're good to go. I'll give you a tip. Of course I am, it's me, Rose. Whew. Okay, listen, before we go in with this, we're gonna go in with cream blush first. You're gonna trust this process. I'm gonna hold your hand through this. So I'm gonna go in. This color is gorgeous. Ooh, I feel like I could use that to correct foundation too. That's another story, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, get a little wild. We're gonna get just a little bit wild. These are very pigmented. You're gonna be, I know. And this is another reason I have the oil on. It's gonna help this blend so much easier. We're gonna use our C41. Please trust the process, I promise. And this is also gonna help it wear so much better later because anytime I do no makeup makeup I just feel like the blush is never enough I'm gonna put some across here and I'm actually not gonna do bronzer I promise there's a method to my madness now as lightweight as this is it's still gonna have some coverage this is from Rose Ink and this is the skin enhanced luminous tinted serum shade 040 oh that will be labeled not sure why I needed to tell you I felt felt the urge. So we're going to go around and then a little bit on top. Okay. We need a C42 stat. Oh, I got to find one. Hang on. Okay. So now we're going to take this, start to tap it in. I remember really liking this stuff. I think I might be a little bit too tan for it right now. See how pretty that is? Told you. Told you. <laughs> and now listen, we can just layer a little extra blush on top and that's gonna last so much longer. Beautiful. I feel like there's enough now on my brush and on my face, I can kind of come over this way a little bit. It's really pretty, very lightweight. It just feels like I'm putting on skincare. So pretty. Now let's do this side. And what you're seeing me do is just kind of activate those little beads because they are beads, little pigment beads, but you get really nice coverage from it. I like this stuff. Oh, I need a darker shade. Don't you dare. Oh, isn't that pretty when it goes on top? Sir, no, no, sir. He's needing love. Jean, Jean's who I'm talking to, and he's on my vanity, one of my vanities over there. He's walking around and he's, he's my little, he's only got his one good eye. And uh, he, he's purring and he's coming this way. I'm scared. <laughs> it's like a dinosaur, but... <laughs> now, you could do concealer. I know that we all enjoy different levels of coverage. And I have no powder on. So if you wanted to do your corrector and then your concealer, you totally could. I am actually just going to use a C31. And then a little bit of the same, the same situation. And then I'm just going to go underneath here but I'm kind of concentrating it so it's gonna look like there's more. 
And this does dry. It feels just a little tacky to the skin. If you just do like a light powdering, I think you'd be good to go. But I, I love this stuff. I'm gonna get another color because I want one just a smidgey darker. Smidgel, just a smidge. Because I don't wanna wear bronzer because that's one more step. And I feel like blush is gonna be enough for our no makeup makeup vibe. Now, if you wanted to use bronzer, you absolutely could. You could do powder or cream with this. That's up to you. And I know that a simple look, it just means a, something different to everyone. And I honestly get asked a lot about bridal looks too and bridal makeup just means something so different to everyone as well. So I know that you're thinking this is still maybe too much or this is way less than I would ever wear, but we're just all different. We're all on a different makeup journey and I just like having fun with makeup, but this, it does, I really think you'll like this. It feels really nice. Now, for the price, I'm really enjoying this. It's not pink, so it's not gonna be as brightening on my skin tone. Um, and it's not matte, it's very satin. And what satin means is it has a little bit of a shine to it. It's gonna keep it very natural, but it's gonna set the makeup. So you're not gonna see that drastic difference of matte and then the dewiness. So if you're really into dewy looks, I feel like this would be a really nice powder for the price. Now what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit darker. This is pretty translucent so it's gonna look darker here than what it really is but I don't want it to be too light because that can cast shadows and totally just defeat our purpose. So I'm gonna take a little bit and it's really important. I have a very tiny amount. Definitely not as much as I would normally do when I do my heavy concealers, but I do wanna kinda of lock that in and I wanna lock it in around here. Nice and see how pretty that is? But it's not too matte, see how? And I just wanna say that no matter how little powder I'm putting on, I'm gonna use a puff. And the reason why is because it just sets it quickly and evenly and it gets in all of the crevices. I'm, I'm a firm believer in the puff. And I was talking about the transition. So this is really nice and set under here now, but you'll see that it's not just matte and then goes to this dewy situation here, but we are nicely set, but it kind of just keeps that look, but our makeup is set. No harsh lines. By the way, I am gonna take the powder. Oh, the frizzies. I'm gonna take it to the center of my face. And I just picked up a tiny amount. And then if you wanted to add powder bronzer I would set through here. I'll just do it just to let you know. And I am gonna add powder blush, just a smidge. I like blush, this might be enough blush for you. I like extra. So with that, you might not have to powder, but it's always a, a safe bet to powder here. So just do light dusting. Notice I haven't even picked up anymore. That's gonna be enough. That way we don't have any patchiness. Love these. I'm so glad that I pulled these back out. Again, I mentioned yesterday that I, I hid these from myself because I was about to talk about them when they weren't released. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I love the texture. And there's a little bit of glow to them. Super pigmented. I barely went in here. That's two taps. You could definitely build this up to be the neon bright blush of your dreams. Pretty. Let me do one more tap. Actually, that was two. And then don't forget... I like it this way, but if you don't, you can always go back over very lightly with the foundation brush. See that? Nice and melted. And you didn't have to add more blush if you didn't want to, obviously. I'm just showing you. I like the blush. 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 <laughs> These, for the price, I love them. 10 out of 10. This is the Yummy Gloss from CoverGirl. And even though I'm using, look how dark it is, it's just gonna give us a nice color. I love it. And they feel amazing. And they smell delicious. Perfect, I'm not even gonna do lip liner because if I'm in a hurry, I'm not doing lip liner. Mm -mm. Nope. There you have it. I think that's a true, authentic, no makeup makeup situation aside from the blush. You don't need this much. It was perfect with the stuff on it. I know. I can't be tamed. We all know that I'm feral. Somehow glitter crept its way onto my eyes. It's what happens here. I am just usually covered in feather dust. Fairy dust. Feathery fairy dust. 
that. You know what was really hard? Resisting what's in front of me. I didn't know there was a sparkly version. I just bought all of these. I'm not done. I went and got the other nude, the neutrally shades that I wanted. I got a black one. Sparkly. I gotta show you this. Okay, let me just show you the sparkly ones. Oh, and I also got these two. I got a purple to com complete my collection. I think I have them all now. <laughs> Let's just swatch these really quickly. I didn't even know there was this formula. Packaging is pretty. And remember, these are the ones that we would wear without any, oh my goodness, without any primer because these set themselves. Hyperventilation makeup. This one's fascinating. Look how taupey and wonderful. Ooh, ooh, ah. That first one I swatched was called Digital Demise. And then I just swatched Fracture. And this is the, uh, it's called Apollo, I have Apollo Empire but I'm gonna label it. I mean, it's just gold and glorious. I am excited for these. I'm really excited. Oh, there's one more. Hang on. Last but not least, the, this one's called Above Santorini. I, my makeup part is just singing. Why have I not seen these? I'm I'm in love. I'm excited. Y'all better be excited too. We're all excited. So basically what I'm saying is you need to put on your makeup seatbelts because I'm probably gonna be feral tomorrow. And I'm gonna try my best to kind of, I, I was being really good there for a while where I was doing different versions of a no makeup makeup look because I know that we're all different. Um, but I've really been slacking. I don't know, I've just been so creative lately and I just, I appreciate you for putting up with it. So thank you for putting up with it because the more I can create, the more I can help you. And I know you're like, how? Well, when I'm doing these really intense wild looks, sometimes things go awry and I'm able to fix them. I'm able to show you how to fix them. Um, I'm able to figure out how to layer things. There's just so many things that come with doing really wild looks that we don't get the same effect when I do looks like this. That being said, I want everybody to be included here. We are one big family and I love you. So I'm gonna do different versions of this at least once a week. The glitter's back. This is who I am. If you meet me in person, I shimmer. <laughs> I love you all so much. I'm excited to post today. It's, it's gonna be an HD video. I'm about to take this off, go film some more HD videos. We're gonna learn in HD, okay? I'm gonna start posting these HD videos. You're gonna see it. Because front face camera, it's gotten good, but it's not real camera good. I can't wait. I feel like we can really learn when we can really see what's going on. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. All right. I love you so much. And I hope that you're all as excited as I am. Make sure you're subscribed to YouTube because that's where I save these now. I save these to YouTube. So follow me there. I love you all. I'll see you tonight in the comments.